CBS 3 Eyewitness News, our Philly to Philadelphia. It's great to have you here. It is so good to be here. What an awesome audience, yeah. too. It's so very exciting. Nice to, yeah. Yeah, very nice to have you. So we got a lot of like news items and stuff to talk about that, that are in the paper today. But I, I got it. To, I I watched um, Real Housewives of Miami last night. <laughs> Has anyone else watched? Lots of fans. Okay, what is up with the lady, the mom of the housewife? Yeah, what, Mom Elsa? I mean, there, there are people you see every now and then who have had a lot of work, and she acknowledges that she's had bad plastic surgery. Yeah, I, I'd never seen the show, but I saw a clip, and it's, it's the elephant in the room. I mean, when you see this video, At it's least she undeniable. acknowledges it, because there's a lot of folks who have had truly tragic plastic surgery who pretend as if, like, they don't look constantly yeah, this surprised. Yeah, truly tragic. But, I mean, she, it's like she can't talk. And, I, I mean, I don't say this, like, with meanness at all. I feel bad for I really yeah. feel bad for her, because she seems like, like a nice lady. We act, if you have not seen the show, we have a clip that we're going to show you, and just look at what is going on. Take a look. I won't hit you with my pocketbook. You know that I am. I am. What is that I am? A psychic? No, I'm not a psychic. Clairvoyant. I'm a witch. What you have to do is learn how to put your head in the right pillow, honey. And the right <laughs> pillow is the one that is full of money. <laughs> but clearly she's smart. Elsa right? Patton, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> she's, um, I mean, and she acknowledges on the show that, that she, she has, you know, has had bad, bad work, but I just wonder, like, what doctor does this to people, you know? I mean, you would think, I always think the best the about The one doctor. who accepts money. I guess, yeah, <laughs> no. I guess, but there's some doctors, that, and then there's a, a study that I just read in the paper um, this week that gynecologists are alarmed by this plastic surgery trend of women having plastic surgery on their private parts, and it's become increasingly popular. Like, the percentage of people who are doing this has jumped dramatically. Just for the way it looks? It's, it's look, and they think it's going to help sensation, but, but a lot of, but there's a real debate. <laughs> there's a debate within, um, among doctors about whether it does, and there's, there's some side effects and potential risks, as there is with any kind of surgery. Well, here's the thing. I mean, plastic surgery, I'm not for or against them. If it's something that you need to do to make you feel better yeah. about yourself and you can and you do it uh, in moderation, that's right. fine. But it's becoming the norm in society. Yeah. It's almost becoming the standard of beauty. Well, now and you're, you're also seeing like very young women, young girls even, mm -hmm. teenagers, who are being kind of pressured to feel like they need to start doing Botox or whatever as like and preparation. They don't, need it. they don't need it at all. It's they ridiculous. Don't need it yeah. when you're in your 20s, yeah. and, you know, so. Yeah, I've got this huge line. It's really funny. I've got this too. big line right here that I've had since I was 10 years old because I used to worry a lot as a kid. Mm -hmm. And I would lie in bed at night worried and my brow would be fur. I know, it's kind of sad. I have it too. Um, I bet mine. Yes, exactly. See? But like, I, it must have reached a point now where it's crossed the Rubicon because I now Cross get the e line. about a month ago, I started getting emails from viewers like, did you cut your forehead? <laughs> And I'm like, no, it's a wrinkle. That's what wrinkles look like. No one, no, one's, no one knows what wrinkles look like anymore, but that's what they look like. But we all know you don't do Botox. Well, not yet. Who knows? It's some, someday, you never know. What? From Real Housewives. You guys go, can go oh, together. Go her. No, I'm not going to go with. Uh, yeah, with, she knows with, a good uh, plastic surgeon. With Elsa, <laughs> I know. <laughs> go see her guy. I feel, I yeah, I just. You know feel what? Bad God for bless her. her though. She makes up for everything in personality. God bless her. God, God bless, bless her. Us. I love her. When people say that. <laughs> um, yeah, she's got. A, she does have a great personality. There's also a photo that I got to show you. Jessica, our producer, actually took this picture. You see a lot of things on the streets of New York. <laughs> Look at what she saw coming to work uh, recently on the streets of New York. That's a goat, so, right? Someone walking their goat. <laughs> Where did you see this? Just down Ninth Avenue, down the street from us. And I, I love the that. woman who's holding the leash on the goat. She's not the lady I would anticipate to be walking a goat. I mean, I don't know who I would think would be walking a goat, but she's like in a short skirt. She's got high heels on. I always thought the funniest thing you saw on a leash was a cat. Have you ever seen someone uh, yes. walking their cat? That's I find always. And strange. I've done it before. Have you really? I did. Yeah. <laughs> when I first got my cat, and I thought, wouldn't that be great? This is 14 years ago. Right. Wouldn't it be great to take her out for a walk? You know, cats are people too. 
And um, when I realized she wasn't going to cooperate, she found a nice patch of grass and she laid there and I was like trying to pull her Drag, along uh, and then realized this is probably abusive. Yeah. So I stopped. I sort of toyed with the idea of getting a pig because I've heard, I have a dog, but I've heard pigs are really smart and really clean. Uh-huh. Um, but then watching... Clean? Who told you they're clean? No, no, apparently they're incredibly clean. Oh. Yeah. But then watching uh, Honey Boo Boo Child, with the, <laughs> the tragedy with what happened. Um, oh, and someone on, on Twitter saying, I don't need any Botox. Jay Fest. I appreciate that, Jay Fest. Aww. Yeah, I think, I think that's, that my mom is tweeting that, actually. But, no, <laughs> but then Honey Boo Boo gave up her pig. You probably, you're too, you, you probably don't watch Honey Boo Boo uh, No, Child, I, I have heard about the pig controversy. Yeah. The pig made a mess on the table, right? Well, yeah, she pooped on the table, I think, Poops. or did something. But it was actually a male pig, but Honey Boo Boo wanted a female pig. So she just honey started boo -boo pretending gets it was what a... honey boo boo wants. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and that, that is definitely true. There's another story that is making news, and we have the video of it, um, and we're going to talk to the women involved in this. You know, I've, you've heard stories about guys who take videos up women's skirts, yeah. and <clears throat> we just found this video. It occurred uh, in Texas. Uh, a woman was at a convenience store. Watch what happens in this video with this guy right behind her. And he's just standing there. She doesn't know what's going on. And then he leaves. Um, and she had no idea until she gets outside and then tried to basically apprehend him. And the guy drove off on the motorcycle. They still have not been able to catch this guy. Um, they're, they're still looking for him. Her name is Fallon Fraker. She's actually joining us. Uh, uh, on satellite from our, yeah, our affiliate in Texas. To... Hey, Fallon, it's Anderson. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, Anderson, I can hear you. Hey, I'm here with Susan. So I ju we just saw this video. This is so disturbing. Did you have any idea this was happening? Uh, no, I had no clue when I was in the store. Not at all. No, Fallon, I saw the video before the clip we just showed you, and you like reached down to get a candy bar or something, and he got uncomfortably close to you, and he was like hovering. I saw. Did you sense any of that? Did you feel it? And did it make you feel uncomfortable? Well, I knew from the beginning that he was sort of following me around the store. And when I did go up to the register, he did get very close to me. I gave him the opportunity to go ahead of me in line, but he didn't take it. He said that he would wait for me. And, and you, so I knew he was... You went outside afterward and to try to, to get the camera back. What happened? Well, you could see from the gas pumps, you can see inside the store. So. There, there were two gentlemen pumping gas, and they saw me in the re in line at the register. When I came out of the store, they warned me that he had been in there taking a picture under my dress. So, uh, I wow. guess my instinct took over. When he walked out of the store, I confronted him in the parking lot and demanded to see his phone. Fallon, so. I I've fortunately never had anything like this uh, happen to me. But as a woman, how does this affect you afterward? Is it something that you can say, you know what, what's he going to see with this camera phone up close? You know, I was wearing undergarments. Or is it something that you just can't shake out of your mind and really haunts you? Well, at first, it didn't really bother me until I saw the video. And then once I saw the video, then it sort of started to sink in a little bit. And I noticed that as time has gone on, that I've become less trusting of people around me. So if there's a man in line behind me at the store for some reason or yeah. anywhere, really, I find myself looking over my shoulder thinking, what's, what are you doing back here? You know, what's your motivation? Well, I mean, it's such a violation. Um, of, it's, it's, it, it can't help but, but change the way you, you feel, at least for, for a while. And um, well, listen, Fallon, I'm glad that you weren't hurt or anything, and, and we hope they catch this guy. The, uh, the League City Police Department says that anybody has information, if they recognize the guy from the surveillance, to please contact the League yes, City please. Uh, Police Department. Fallon, we wish you the best. Thanks very much for joining yeah, us. Thanks, Fallon. Thank you so much. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Thank you. There's, there's another thing, Susan. I, uh, and by the way, you, uh, you, brought, you brought some sandwiches from Philly. I you, brought you work in Philly. Philly cheesecake. Some Philly cheesecake. So, <laughs> thank you for this. So, okay. Truth be told. I actually did not eat breakfast this morning. So oh, good. I'm, okay, before you wow. eat, I have to make sure you know that... Um, mm, that's good. They're delicious. Yeah. There's nothing better than a Philly cheesesteak. Now, I bought these last night, and they uh, traveled with me here, and my hotel room was cool overnight, but uh -huh. I didn't have a refrigerator, but that's okay. No. They stand up well. Yeah. Like Philadelphians. We, Meat you know. and cheese doesn't need to be refrigerated. Oh, come on, Anderson. <laughs> you go first. <laughs> come on. Uh -huh. 
That's a good cheesesteak. They're really good. Yeah, that's very good. And I, I like that. I have to tell you, excuse me for talking with my mouth full, but. Oh, thank you. Not in Philadelphia, either. there's all these famous places that make cheesesteaks, and like, Where's we have the cheesesteak wars. Uh -huh. So, and those places are great, and they're famous for cheese whiz and right. steak and all that. But I grew up in the suburbs, and um, my favorite cheesesteak is you go to a pizza shop, like in a strip mall, and they make cheesesteaks, and they chop it up real fine right. like this, and onions and cheese, and they're the best. Yeah? In my That's opinion. That's what you like? All right. Yeah, so my gift to you. No, I appreciate it. This is very good. I'm going to finish this. Um, we got a lot more um, news items to cover uh, in our final five, the last uh, couple minutes of the show, so we're going to get to that. In fact, there's a now, they're starting to have pregnancy tests in bars, in the bathrooms in bars, and it's actually... I know it sounds kind of crazy, but it's actually very cheap. It's less expensive than it is if you do it at, like, you know, if you buy those at-home pregnancy tests. Because those are actually the things that people shoplift the most, because they are pretty expensive. They are expensive. So they're starting to do these in bars. We're going to find out more about that, uh, a lot more in the final five, so stick around for that. But coming up, shocking caught-on-tape videos captured a, an amazing plane crash, uh, and you'll, see, you'll meet the people involved. We'll be right back.